Hi, now I'm going to show you how to test uh, the equality of two distributions. Very often with, um, say, the normal t-test or something like that, you're testing to see whether the means of two groups are different, but sometimes you want to see whether the entire distribution of the two groups are the same on a particular variable. And for that, we're going to use the kamal smirnov two-sample test. And so how we do it, really simple. We're going to go up to Analyze, then non-parametric tests go down to independent samples. This is going to give us this nice dialog box here. And what we're wanting to do is compare distribution across groups. So we want to leave that checked as it is. Then we're going to go in and we're going to uh, tell SPSS what fields we're going to test. Well, what we want to know if our two feeding groups are different. So I'm going to move feeding groups over there. And I, as I said, I've got two of them. Now I want to uh, check what variables uh, where I want to s indicate the variables that I'm going to test on. So here I'm going to test on percent volume uh, that our feeding groups get. And I also, um, let's see, test uh, the percent calories that they get. Then I'm going to go over to settings. And rather than just leave it to automatically test, I'd like to tell SPSS what <laughs> what it needs to do. So I'm going to click Customize Test, then the Kamagrov Smirnov 2 sample. Um, you see there are a lot of other options here. You can uh, read up on what those are, but right now I just want this one. Uh, under Test Options, I want to make sure that Exclude Cases Test by Test is done so that I don't uh, drop cases just if they're missing on, uh, say there's a missing case on, on one variable but not the other. I don't want it to uh, drop the entire case, so I'm going to use a Exclude cases test by test. User missing. Uh, I'm just going to exclude any missing values. So once I've got everything specified, then I'm going to click Run, and you see it's going to go down here. And what it tells, uh, what the how I interpret this is, um, the null hypothesis is that the distributions are the same. Um, and if my finding is significant, as it is here for both my variables, then I reject the null and I conclude that the two groups have statistically significant different distributions. So that's all there is to it.